but it's intercepted by Austin Thompson. Fletcher touches this one ahead, and Weyrich steers it to the side. Anderson a shot, save, rebound, and Austin Thompson cashes in. Ties the game up at one. Weyrich doesn't like it. He thought he was interfered with, but for the time being, Austin Thompson ties the game up at one. Well, crash the net, good things happen. It wasn't a shot to go in from the side. It was a shot to generate a rebound. It did exactly that, popped right back. Tomer just tucks it home. Nothing Weyrich could do about it. A little too soft, it's intercepted by Barr. And now Lisko comes in, a holding wrist shot, kicked out with a purpose by Nolan Egbert. Pulls it out. And the blue line with Connor Smith for the time being. Stone back over to Smith, loads of space for the Cowboys. Shot, blocked, rebound, corralled by Somro. Over to Clark, he scores! Power play strike for Cameron Clark, his second as a Black Bear. And Binghamton has a two to one lead. Well, you could smell that coming from a mile away. Cam Clark, like I said, getting himself into position, just set up right by that left dot. And Weyrich was sprawling to make the previous save, wasn't able to get back. And a beautiful pass right on Clark's stick, beats Weyrich low, glove side, and the Black Bears double their goal count and take their first lead of the night. And second time this power play, the Black Bears have come within inches of scoring. Tipped on, Austin Thompson from Connor Smith. Two power play goals for the Black Bears here early in this one. And Binghamton leads by a pair. Well, vintage Austin Thompson right there as he points to his, I guess I'll say behind saying that's where it got him. Goes off him into the net. Two goals for Tomer on the night. And the Black Bears throw their lead. It's three to one here with two minutes to go, Brooks. Leads to a takeaway as Anderson has a wrister and Egbert on top of his crease. Two on one for the Seawolves, back the other way. He's with Dalton. Dalton tries to settle it down. Kick save made, loose puck. Who's gonna get it? Nolan Egbert with his glove on top makes the save. Well, Egbert had to sprawl back into the, into the crease. He had come out to make the save and that puck was bouncing around. Fitzgerald and Jesse Anderson looking like Bill Buckner in game six, couldn't find that ball, uh, puck. And Egbert had to sprawl back in order to keep it out of his goal. The only player for this Mississippi squad to play in every game so far this season. Centers up Stoya with a wrister and Egbert saw it the whole way. This Binghamton club, Lucia, lost the handle on it, two on O. Oh. Clark comes in with Fletcher, holding, Fletcher, far down. That's the Burger King burger goal for Josh Fletcher on a two on O. Oh. And the Black Bears now lead by three. Well, Cam Clark may have deeped everyone in the building. I thought he was gonna shoot that puck. Beautiful pass over to Josh Fletcher, and what a season the rookie from Calgary, Alberta is having. Here comes Clark, kick fake, pass across, Bardowski as they like to say. Fletcher gives a little wave to his friends. Black Bears lead four to one. Logar steals it across, over to Yates. He turns on the afterburner, Yates comes in. What a deep forehand to the backhand, far side post, Gavin Yates. Extra effort award for the Black Bears. They now lead by four. Magic, Brooks, just magic from Gavin Yates as he goes through the entire Mississippi Seawolves team. And just as it looked like he got too deep, pulls it right back to the backhand and beats Blake Weyrick. Let's go. Trying to get around Jesse Anderson. He cannot held in, though, by Dalton Anderson. No relation between those two guys as Egbert makes his 10th save of the night right there by being a member. And they also have cheap gas as well, if that wasn't enough. Yates over to Kirkby, scores right off the rip. Tyson Kirkby on a beautiful feed from Gavin Yates. And the top line continues to get it done. Well, that was 18 seconds in, Brooks. The Black Bears got themselves cooking early. Only 18 seconds. What a rush from the Black Bears. They find Tyson Kirkby. It's a beautiful pass from Gavin Yates. And Kirkby just goes right under the blocker. And the Black Bears lead 6-1, to one, Brooks. Over to Barr. Mississippi still playing. That one saved by Egbert, floated away. Gloved out by Stone. 
Stretch pass over to Thompson, looking for the hat trick, comes in, scores! Austin Thompson for the hat trick. His first of the season. And, and here the they hats come. Go flying. Brooks, we got a good amount of hats this time, too. They just keep coming. First hat trick of the year for Austin Thompson. As Joe Shepard looks like he's getting ready to come in this game. An even strength goal for Austin Thompson at 942. Thompson now up to 20 goals. A little dangle, couldn't get the backhanded shot off. 10 seconds left to go on the two man. Oliveri fake the slap shot, slapped across to Kirkby. Tick, tack, and then a goal. Binghamton scores on the power play, three for four. Tyson Kirkby's second of the night. And what passing around the horn from the Black Bears. Yeah, just a, a beautiful tic-tac-toe, as you called out immediately, Brooks. It, it seemed like they knew where each other were going to be. They didn't even need to look up, knowing Kirkby was going to be right in front, got a nice piece of it, tipped in his second of the night. A Asilin hammers a slap shot. Egbert made the save, hack and whack, and the Long Island native, just outside the crease, dives on top of it. Gets it deep, and there's that active stick of Shepard knocking it away from Yates. I don't think Yates was expecting that. Little touch pass over to Fitzgerald for Kirkby. There's the hat trick. They're going to throw the hats again. Tyson Kirkby with a hat trick, the second one tonight. Beautiful play by the Black Bears who continue to just pour it on here on a Friday night. I can't believe these fans still have a hat to throw. And there's a bunch of them on the ice still. I wonder if some of them went and retrieved their hats from the Austin Thompson hat trick, just have to throw them again for the Tyson Kirkby hat trick. And that ought to just about do it here on Friday night. The Black Bears will surround Nolan Egbert, who after letting the first shot that he saw, stopped the next 16. Black Bears finish with a game total of 56 shots on goal and a dominating performance over the Mississippi Seawolves. Binghamton wins 9-1 to here on Friday night.